Hey, what's up, guys? KGamers here, back with you with another episode of Minecraft. And today I'm going to show you how to build this cannon, which is a fantastic cannon, in my opinion. I guess. Well, it's not one of the best cannons in the world, because I only know three types of cannons. You can see one of them in the distance. And, um, yeah. Oh god, uh, sorry for burp. Okay. And I'm sorry for not uploading within the recent coming, what's it called, five, six days. Because I was at my uncle's house supporting him because he fell off a ladder six feet. And yeah, I, me and my family, uh, me and my dad went to support him. Cause we could. Oh, got this looks trippy for you guys. That was OCD for me. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, uh, one thing I want to say, guys, is that this is a not not a. Well, how do I put this? This is not a, um, a, this is like an, like a tier, like there's like, just imagine there's like four tier, tiers of cannon, tiers of cannons, like tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four. This is like a tier two cannon, and I only know how to build like tier two, uh, I may know how to build a tier three, but I don't know. This might be up there with like a tier 3 cannon, but I don't know. Tier 4s are like giant tunnel cannons and stuff like that. And we'll get to that later in the series. And if you want to know how this works, it basically works as if... This shoot, this part here shoots first. This shoots, shoots out this is the TNT second. And then this shoots out TNT last. The first part is the part that... So just imagine, this is the TNT that shoots out first. You shoot this down, and TNT only moves in water in 1.8. And that is not the case here. This is 1.7. So hopefully, so yeah. So TNT in 1.7.10 uh, still stands still. It just stays in the water. Like, it just stays there. It doesn't move at all. The water doesn't move it, so <clears throat> it doesn't move. So this causes it. This blast this first, and then this causes it to blast this. The TNT that launches from these six wing dispensers to launch forward all the way up to this portion of the TNT cannon, and then when this shoots out, this blows up first, and then this causes it to blast through that hole. Which you see, and just saying, for this to be, to for you to make a hole like this, you need a wither to do this. If you don't have a wither in your, if you if your server does not have wither, then I do not. I know you can build a cannon that can blast through this easily, but this that is a hybrid cannon. Well, it it doesn't blast through it easily, supposedly, but it takes a couple like 40 shots like 10 20 shots for it to do that so and the cannon needs to be raised so yeah and hopefully and i have a cobble type thing in there because i do not have a uh, obsidian breaker on the server and hopefully this kind of works and fire the cannon Shots! Oh Jesus, thank God! I have no idea where that hit. Yep, it broke through the base, so it broke through it. So, showing you guys that that was a fantastic TNT shot. By yours truly. Oh Jesus, frames, frame rate. I'm pretty sure you guys saw that. Okay, let me show you a shot. If 
that much late. The okay. Hopefully this does. See, that would have destroyed the whole base, and then yeah, rip the base. And in most of uh faction servers, um, what's it called? Obsidian breaks within four to twelve times, and this will destroy obsidian with obsidian breaker or bedrock breaker, whatever. Uh, in about two shots, I think, like one or two shots, this kind of will destroy because this launches out eight pieces, uh, eight TNT at a time because of this. So if you guys want to know. How this works? Uh, continue in the video. If you don't want to know how this works, click off the video now, and I will show you how it works. Okay, for this, you will need one water bucket, two stone slabs, three but um, one button, twenty-two redstone repeaters, one redstone repair, thirty-nine redstone, twenty-three hoppers, and a stack of well. A stack of cobble on like cobble for only if you are building this in the air. Oh, and I need one more thing. I need a piece of obsidian. Oh yeah, uh, cobble as well because you need to build a barrel and stuff like that. So first, you want to press down the button. That's the easiest part. And next, you want to place down the redstone. I'm pretty positive this is how you do it. Place down three restaurant periods in that format. And then you place one dispenser here, one dispenser there, one dispenser there. And then you keep placing redstone. I think, yeah, you place it like that. Like, let me place the cobble. And this does work for uh, a third layer of dispensers, but it gets into a more interesting factor code, so which has to do with slabs and yeah. Three, four. Oh, I forgot you. Uh, it's twenty-one dispensers because this kind of can only take eight shots at, per time because it will just it will just blow up for some odd reason. I don't know why. It just does, and so. Okay, and you guys should have a pick on you because there's no guarantee you will actually place these blocks 100%. Uh, I do not know what the cannon is called by the way guys. So if you want to know, hopefully you guys are coming from a perspective of a bigger YouTube channel. Oh, and you only need one stone slab. Yeah, just disregard everything I said before. And you place the four redstone repeaters on each side directly into the bottom dispensers. And hopefully you guys do that. Then you place one. Two restaurant repeaters. This restaurant repeater right here is put on two, four, one, one, two, three ticks. And then you place that. And then this is where the four, wait, let me see. Two. I'm not 100%. 
proof positive that this work. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and you do not need one of these repeaters. Okay, and these are always on three ticks, except these last ones. I think that's how I did it. Let me check. Oh, I put it on two ticks just to be safe. If you want, you can make it more like what's it called? You can delay it more by putting more repeaters, but I do not do that. And I did this correctly oh and this has to be on red you have to flick the comparator over here and I have two extra reds to oh yeah and you put this uh, oh yeah I know why the I needed the two extra redstone oh no tower drops oh, I, I have an extra piece of redstone no, not again. Not again. Dang it. Let's face one. Oh, I didn't. Did I? I'm not missing any rest. Okay. That works. Oh, and then the other easy part is placing the water bucket right there. Or, I'm sorry this isn't in like order or whatever. I just don't really do this type of stuff. And then the next thing to do is fill this up with TNT. Just saying guys, if you are just put four more times the TNT than you put in each of in one of these dispensers or in one of those. Because remember this does shoot four at a time for each of those dispensers. And this is kind of does work. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this TNT uh, tutorial. And if you guys did, hopefully this is will inspire you to build cannons and take a new interest in cannoning or whatever. Hopefully this did inspire you. And just one more time. I'll show you guys the work of the TNT cannon and how good it is for a tier 2 cannon. And I will show you how much the damage is. So much damage. And hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. And if you guys did, leave a like rating, comment down below, tell me if you guys did enjoy this in the comment section down below. And if you did, you will see a next another episode very soon. And thank you guys for helping me. And that's a sneak peek at what's to come in the future. Maybe that's the next, kind of for the next episode. You don't know. But if it is, it will be awesome. So that's how you build the napkin of Chief Cannon. Or the napkin cannon, whatever you want to call it. And that, I only call it the napkin cannon because it's this cannon originated from the pl Oh, it originated in my mind to hit from him. Oh, and one other thing, guys. Oh, jeez. is to connect that. I did that here too. Okay, I did that there. Okay, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. And I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys. Later. Peace out.